Semiconductor manufacturing is among the most complicated mass production processes ever devised. The degree of complexity is matched only by the degree of precision required. If only one of more than 1,000 steps fails, the resulting chip will not function. It's no coincidence that semiconductor fabs and assembly test facilities are the most expensive factories in the world. For instance, leading-edge fabs and advanced packaging facilities require investments ranging from 2 to 30 billion US dollars each. The cost is about control. Fabs operate under extremely strict conditions that ensure the integrity of the chips produced. A single hair, a foreign particle, or even a tiny flake of skin introduced into the manufacturing process can ruin entire batches of semiconductors. As a result, safety and risk management controls are built into the anatomy of the manufacturing facility. Fabs center around the clean room. Clean rooms are where chip production occurs and are the most sterile environments on the planet. Class I clean rooms are 1,000 times cleaner than the typical surgical operating room. Clean room operators must wear bunny suits and other protective equipment to eliminate contamination by skin, hair, and lint. In addition to protecting chips, fabs are designed for the simultaneous safety of employees. Chemicals in the clean room are used in closed systems, isolated from the manufacturing floor space and workers. Above the clean room is the interstitial and fan deck. This level houses systems that keep clean room air particle-free and temperature and humidity controlled. The air in the clean room must be cleaned continuously. Air from the fabrication area is circulated through high-efficiency filters and replaced entirely by clean outside air in minutes. There are at least 10 air changes per hour. Beneath the clean room is the subfab level. Here, thousands of pieces of equipment such as chillers, pumps, heat exchangers, transformers, power cabinets, treatment systems, and other systems support clean room operations. An extensive network of pipes and ductwork safely carry incoming gases and liquids to the production tools, as well as outgoing waste and exhaust from the tools. Finally, a utility space houses electrical panels, compressor systems, and the ultra-pure water and other mains that feed the piping in the subfab engineering and administrative controls, as well as personal protective equipment, or PPE, work in concert throughout these levels to keep people, products, and the environment safe. Semiconductor manufacturing facilities adhere to very high standards with regards to environmental emissions, including wastewater treatment, air emission abatement, and chemical waste management. Manufacturing processes and their supporting systems are designed, monitored, and managed to ensure predictable and safe plant performance 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. For instance, piping which transports chemicals that may pose hazards is double contained and continuously monitored for leaks to protect workers and the environment. Thousands of sensors are used throughout the facility to detect both liquid and gas leaks. Upon activation, they will signal alarms locally and to a centralized control room and may automatically initiate shutoff of the chemical supply sources. Fabs are modern marvels. Together with assembly test facilities, they are uniquely designed to orchestrate thousands of precisely controlled steps, delivering specialized chemicals in exactly the right amount, place, and time. Next, let's look closely at the complex supply chain providing equipment and materials to semiconductor manufacturing. 